Hello everyone, here is a quick video of the uh, new Ducky Shine keyboard that I ordered. Uh, if you saw the previous uh, video that I posted on the mechanical keyboard that I was using, that's a SteelSeries uh, 6G V2. I had mentioned that I had ordered a, a Ducky, uh, it's specifically the 9008 uh, S, sorry about that, <laughs> the Shine, so the DK9008 Shine. and basically it's almost the same keyboard as the steel series except this one has what I was missing in the steel series and that is uh, backlit um, also in addition the Cherry MX switches on this one are red so this is the first time I get to try the reds I went ahead and I tried them and yep they're basically the same thing as the blacks except they're a little bit lighter to touch so basically they don't feel as heavy so, just showing you real quickly the keyboard. One thing I noticed right off the bat is this uh, key stays on no matter what. So, even when the uh, backlit is turned off, this key will stay on. But anyways, let me show you. I'm not going to focus on the box because I find that annoying on the unboxing videos. But I'm going to show you real quick what it came with. It came already packaged in this... Uh, in this little bag, I don't know, I'm horrible with materials, I'm guessing it's felt or something like that. But it came in here, and it also had a little cover, little plastic cover. Okay, I'm doing this with with one hand, guys, so, but there we go. There's the cover that it came with. So I really like this little bag. Um, I go to LAN parties frequently so this is going to be real cool for the LAN parties. Here's the instruction manual and I've already, as you see, taken it out but um, in this section here those was the USB cable so it has a detachable USB cable. One thing I don't like about that, uh, I do like that it's a detachable USB cable. I don't like, especially since I paid 140 bucks for this keyboard, is that it's not even braided so I'm going to see if I can find a braided uh, USB cable that I can use for this the other section here which was pretty cool it comes with some uh, keycaps some red keycaps what I like about these is the fact that they are see-through so the back the back lid can also be uh, seen through it and also more importantly the letters are the exact same size and font used on the actual keyboard. The reason I mention that is, let's see here is the the Steel Series 6G that I had purchased before that I was using. Um, I've since replaced the keycaps to some blank keycaps to try to give it a little bit of a flare. Again, I love this keyboard as well. Only thing missing was the backlit, but um, other than that, it's an awesome keyboard, and it has an attached. Uh, cable there but anyways here are the original keycaps these are the keycaps that I had ordered from uh, elite keyboards and it looks cool I like the fact that they're the font is white but when you compare the the keycap font to the font on the keyboard it's significantly smaller so I didn't like that it it looked odd um, the fact that the sizes were different so I opted to just switch it to a blank uh, keycap. Here's another escape one that I got. But anyways, this video is not about the Steel Series. Um, again, this is about the Ducky. And what makes the Ducky so cool is that it also came with a keycap remover. Uh, normally I can just pull them out with my fingers, but this makes the job like so much easier. Let's see if I can... Yeah, you can see it came out real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and put that back. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask here. And so again, the keycaps that came with the sorry, the keycaps that came with the actual uh, keyboard are pretty cool because they are see uh, see through at least through the lettering. So the the back the back lid will be uh, something that you can see. Here we are. Sorry stalling because I couldn't find them. So here they are. And it came with the keycap 
remover. Here's the uh, cable. Let me flip that over. As you can see, it goes in there. So again, I wish that the cable would have been a braided cable. It would have made it awesome. Especially, I think the uh, the Cooler Master keyboard that's out there has a braided cable. I think the uh, Black Widow Ultimate has a braided cable. And I think that Corsair M90 keyboard or even their K90 also have a braided cable, so I think that's the only thing that's missing on there. Um, has the little feet here. All right, it has some dip switches, which I'm not gonna mess with. Let me fix the zoom. But based on the manual, which of course I'm gonna read, that turns off certain features. Uh, overall, first impressions, I mean, this is literally, I got this 10 minutes ago. It is a good keyboard. Um, I mentioned that the the you know when you're pressing it it feels nice it has a much lighter um, touch than the Steel Series 6G uh, so I guess this is more prone to errors if you if you have problems typing you're definitely gonna be uh, pressing the wrong keys it's gonna register unlike the Cherry MX Blacks you know it requires a little bit more force to to press down so if you press a, a key by mistake it's not going to register. Um, too bad I can't. I don't have two cameras, so I can show you how light the press is. But let's see. You see how I'm barely touching it. You can barely hear it, I'm sure. So it's very uh, responsive. So we'll see how how I do. Like I said, the main reason for uh, switching from the Steel Series is the the missing backlit. And let's show this off here. So this is real cool. The escape, WASD, uh, there's a little ducky. And the arrow keys light up on the first option. Then it's almost the entire keyboard is now lit up. Minus the, the 10 key. You see the 10 key is not lit up. Caps lock is off, but that's because it's... I'm sorry, scroll lock. It's on. Now the next one is... And let's see. I'm trying to see. I think that's the whole thing now. Minus these up here. These are going to light up if you actually press them. And the next one, I think this is the cool one. Let's see. There you go. You can see that it's pulsing. So it goes from going very, very light to pretty bright. So I got this one again for the late night gaming sessions. Sometimes it's hard to, to um, see what you're doing until I learn how to type by touch. That's a whole separate project that I'm going to work on. Um, so the backlit's going to help depending on how this works out. I haven't played a game yet. Uh, we'll see. We'll see whether I stay with the Ducky or I go back to my trusty uh, Steel Series. And I hope you found this information uh, useful. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. Thanks.